Hey, BJ Peters here, and I've got a really nice, fun, cozy, warm, fuzzy tutorial for you today using the Smitten Mitten Bundle and making this cute little penguin guy. You are going to love him. Let's get started. So here's a close-up of this cute little penguin card. Oh my gosh. So just warm and cozy because I've used a mitten, and let me show you how that's done, and the many mittens framelits and all this cute little guy. And can you see the dazzling diamonds um, paper? Yes. It's just fun. This card screams fun, and you're going to want to make one. Let me show you how it's done. For this one, I have a card base of the Tranquil Tide that is four and a fourth by 11 scored at five and a half, and I've creased the top. And then I have a piece of basic black cardstock that is uh, four inches by five and a fourth inches. And then my Soft Sky is three and seven eighths inches by three and seven eighths inches, just to keep it simple. And then I've got a piece of Dazzling Diamonds uh, glimmer paper that is two and a half inches by three and seven eighths inches. And what I've done is I've just cut, um, just used my scissors and cut kind of a scallop top in it. Like I said, this one uses the Mini Mittens Framelits and the Mini Smitten Mitten uh, stamp set. What you're going to need out of here is you're going to need two of the basic black, two of the mittens in basic black like this, okay? You're also going to need one in white for the big guy. And then you're going to need for the little guy two of the little mittens and one in this star shape. You're going to need two of them because that's actually where we're going to get the feet from. I have the snowflake stamp from the Smitten Mitten stamp set and I'm going to stamp it in Pool Party ink on the Pool Party cardstock here. I'm just going to adhere the Soft Sky and the Dazzling Diamonds cardstock to the basic black card base layer. Then I'm going to start putting my little penguin guy together here. What you want is the two uh, black mittens and you want their arms to obviously go down and you're going to overlap them slightly. See, I'm not putting, I know it's hard to see in the black, but you see that I'm not putting it all the way on there. You can kind of see it right here, especially at the bottom. And here that together with some fast fuse. And then we have to take our whisper white and we basically want to cut off the thumb. And this becomes the body. And then we're going to even this up at the top so it's a little bit easier to put that hat on. So I'm actually just going to kind of go at a little bit of an angle like that and cut this excess off here. So basically there's my penguin body. So let's look at the hat for the guy. I make these Hershey snowmen every year for craft sales and I use um, these kind of mittens. What I do is I cut off all the fingers and then I use this strip right here and that's the strip that I use to make the scarf. And then I use this part for the snowman hat on these Hershey bars. So I have all of these leftover mittens and you've seen me do some things with them before. But as I was thinking about it, I think they're perfect to have a little texture and dimension to this cute little penguin guy. So here's one of the bigger mittens. What I've done is I've kind of folded it over. This is one of the long fingers, rolled it up a little bit and made a little hat for a penguin. It's so cute. I love that little bit of added this texture. This didn't come from me. This is not an original idea. I saw it from another demonstrator um, on Pinterest where they used the bow tie from this cookie cutter builder punch and these two eyes. So I'm gonna take this bow tie and I'm actually just gonna kind of follow the curve around and make this into a little bit of a, of a triangle here. And I'll use some fast fuse on this piece. So there's the nose, the cute little nose. And now the eyes that I got out of that cookie builder punch, I'm actually gonna use the fine tip glue pen for. And what I've done is I've actually fashioned the little pickup tool. This is just a, an embossing thing that we've had. And this is just kind of the putty, the poster putty, I think it's called. So I just put that around an end and pick up my little pieces like that. Now the feet, so coming from that star punch, I'm going to just take three of these little protrusions here. That's going to be my feet. I'm just going to tuck them up underneath there with a glue dot. He is so cute. I'm just going to add some dimensionals to the back here to help this stick. Perfect. I love that little guy. Isn't he so cute? This mitten mitten bundle has been 
really a favorite. I don't know if you saw the other day the, the cute little treat holders that I did with the Smitten Mitten Bundle, but I've had lots of inquiries about those things. You'll have to check that out on YouTube. And I still have that Smitten Mitten class out there, and I know I've got to cut more of that too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the, the little penguin about the same way using the two smaller mittens and overlapping them such that they're a little bit wider. And then the hat for this guy, what I did was I just took a tip of the mitten and cut that off for the hat. So there's my little hat for that guy, cute. Then this is so small, what I did was I actually just used my Stampin' Write markers and I made the eyes and the nose. So basic black, this is Tangerine Tango. And then for his feet, what I did was I just used some of these leftover parts from here and just used one little, one little, I don't know, out pouching. So there we go, you can see that little guy. And then I'll add him with some dimensionals as well. Just love him. Then for the greeting, I used the Old oh, Wet Fun stamp set and used the Merry Wishes on just a little piece of soft sky cardstock and punch it out with a one and a fourth inch punch. <laughs> and we'll stick that right there. And there's my finished card. Isn't that cute? I love the little use of the those little mittens, those one size fits all mittens. Just so, so cute. I hope you give this guy a try. Remember this uh, Spitten Mittens class is available on my website at stampinbj.com as well as you can purchase any of these products on my website at stampinbj.com. And remember to create and feel great.